Hey guys, and welcome to a different mobile game today. I think we'll be uh, swapping this game out on a weekly basis just to see what sticks and what doesn't. So today, as you can see, we've got Digital Tamers Reborn. So, let's uh, start a new game. There's not much going on in that existing save. So, this is for those of you that are Digimon fans. This is a single player experience, so no MMO stuff going on here. And I need to remember to actually tap the screen, because this will not move on without me. I'm not going to read through all of this. Those of you that are familiar with Digimon will be able to figure this out for yourselves. So, yeah, the uh, entire narrative here is there is a championship and you have been chosen to take part in the championship and you've been pulled out of the human world. Da, 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 da. Yep, these are all the tutorial stuff. So, here we go, we have ourselves an egg. So the question is, what's it going to be? Uh, okay, I, f uh, that, I think that's what my Digimon is then. So of course this is all tutorial stuff, I'm just going to skip through it all. I've given this game a little bit of a play around with previously, so... There's not much to worry about. So this is my little baby Digimon. So what can I do with him? Well, as alluded to just then, we've got food to keep him happy. We've got medicines, various other things. But what we're going to do first and foremost is give him some training. So um, Digimon, for those of you that don't know, um, back in the day there was this... Oh, what do you call it? Like, debate. What came first, Digimon or Pokemon? Well, the answer is Digimon, actually, because it started out as a Tamagotchi, a, like, monster pet raising device thingy. <clears throat> and the whole point of uh, Digimon was to get boys more interested in Tamagotchi. Because, you know, Tamagotchi, they were cool, the girls, but the boys... We needed a bit of conflict to make it a bit more appealing. So that's where Digimon came along. It was Tamagotchi that could fight. And um, ignoring all of the monster-raising RPGs that are very Pokemon-esque nowadays, um, this is kind of Digimon back to its roots. It's basically a Tamagotchi, whereby you get to have your own pet, have it evolve, get bigger, You've still got to feed it, clean up after him when he goes for a poop. Um, uh, did I mention battling, etc, etc. So it's a nice, fun little game. So, of course, let's see, what do I want to train next? I'll go with some health. Oh, and I think this time, here we go. So this is a mini game. Uh, the whole point of the training bit uh, is... Oh, hello. Let's let the music play. What am I going to get? Okay. Now, of course, I don't actually know the names of my Digimon that I've had so far. So, let's have a look at the encyclopedia. Oh, hold on. Uh, scroll. There you are. So, the baby Digimon that I had was Yoramon. And the in-training Digimon, that's been called Baby 2 for some reason is Petite Miramon. Oh, okay, so I'm going for a Fire Digimon. Ah, in the meantime... Oh, I need to rest a little bit more. And energy is full again. Let's go for some more attack. So, of course, here on this training screen, you can see all of these different little pictures that the uh, green reticle is moving across really, really fast. You have to tap the screen where it's roughly where you want it and hope that you're fast enough to get the one that you want. I'm going to aim for the fireball. So, there we go. It's a lot harder than it looks. So yeah, this is a nice, cool little monster-raising game. Kind of Tamagotchi-esque. If you've ever had a bit of nostalgia for Tamagotchi, this is a good place to start. Um, it's not available, unfortunately, on the Google Play Store, and I doubt you can actually get it on an Apple device. Reason being is, this is a fan game. So on 
uh, Android, of course, you have to go and download the APK yourself. But it's still a brilliant game, and as I understand, its successor is in the works. Uh, Dragonrod, who has his own Discord, is currently working on two games, a successor to this and a more story-based game. Let's go for some more attack. Now, I'm only going to make this video, say, 15 minutes or so, because I noticed whenever I hit 25 minutes for the... Um, God, what game was it? RuneScape. For the RuneScape videos, every time I hit 25 minutes, the recording software just cut out at the end and ended up stitching something back in at the end to say, hey, thank you, subscribe. So let's keep these short and sweet, shall we? Let's give them 15 minutes. That way, I shouldn't have to worry about the recording software glitching out on me. Because, of course, as per usual, this has been recorded on a nice old Pixel 2. And let's go for some health training now. Oh, okay, so the the big red Pac-Mans, that represents me getting extremely hungry. I don't want that, I want the lightning bolt. Everything else is just neutral. Oh, no. No, he's, he's going to be a hungry bugger now. Yep, see, he wants food. Petite Miramon, there you go. There's your food. And he's just nibbled on the leftovers. He's full already. Oh, well. So, as you can see, we whilst we wait for his energy to go up, we have our level, our stats, his age, hunger, vitality, energy win-loss ratio. Fact, what else can we do? We can praise him. There we go. Oh, we can't praise or scold him right now. That's because I've already praised him recently. Yeah, uh, worth a try. So, of course, he's a bit young at the moment, but what else could I do with him when he uh, gets a bit older? So, if we click on digitize on the bottom right of the screen, we have, of course, the battle area. Now, of course, she's telling me off because I'm trying to essentially uh, battle a baby Digimon. And that would be very cruel, wouldn't it? So, of course, instead we have a training dummy for our Digimon to fight against. Now, as you can see, he's doing most of it all on his own, with no interaction from me. This takes from the Digimon World, like, PlayStation game. Because in Digimon World, all you could do was bark the occasional command at your Digimon. Like, just blowing a bit of hair off my screen there. Like, say, run away or focus more on attack. But ultimately, all of the moving and attacking is done by the Digimon. It has complete autonomy. All you can do is stand on the sidelines and give it hints as to what to do. You know, like as if it was in real life, you wouldn't have real-time control down to every little detail of the Digimon now, would you? There we go, that's the one I wanted. And he's going for a munch. And he needs a poop. And yes, you do have to clean up the poop. <laughs> I like this game so much. So, there we go. Let's sweep it all up. Just like in the Digimon World games, you have to clean up the poop. Do, do, do. And we're on full energy. Let's go for some special attack. Give him some ranged abilities. And I'm going to go for the fireballs this time. I ah, missed it by a little bit. And he's still hungry. He's a hungry little bugger, isn't he? Petite mirror, man. So let's have a look. We have a Digivice down here that I can't access until level four. Let's have a look at the shop. So we'll skip through the tutorial stuff. So on the shop, the Digivice that allows us to bark commands at our Digimon is a thousand pounds. Ouch. With a digipad, you'll be able to aid your partner in battle by using healing items on it. It's 550. So I can't really buy all that much at the moment. 
So I need to let my Digimon just level up a little bit more up until the point that he reaches Rookie. When he's not a baby anymore, he'll be able to fight and uh, start earning me some cash. But until then, let's uh, go for health. Don't want to go into um, defense on this one. So let's have a look. Uh, let's go for kar the Karate Kid one. So, oh, just missed it. Energy can't go any lower. Let's see if we can evolve to Rookie before our 15 minutes are up. Honestly, I can't remember how long this game took me the last time around. But yeah, this is a nice little game. Um, it's got pixel art, it's got monster raising. Aw, he loves me. Hold on, let's praise him for that. There we go. Yeah, so cute. I need to play this game more. Right, uh, we're nearly there for the energy to try another one. Let's have a look. We'll go with attack. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Plus nine attack. So yeah, um, as you can see on the top right window, we have a total of 12 slots. That means that you can collect up to 12 different Digimon. Um, yeah, age 0 out of 50, so as I understand it, once they hit 50, they uh, die. I don't know if they reincarnate again as an egg. Uh, of course, I've not really gotten that far. I've only played this for, say, a couple of hours before I started over for these uh, video series. Uh, do, 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 full energy. Let's get some more attack. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go lightning. Nope, missed it. And he's hungry again. And we're fine. Let's give him a praise. And of course, um, one great thing about Digimon is you don't necessarily always know what it's going to evolve into or Digivolve in this case. Because of course with Pokemon, everything's set. Um, Pikachu evolves into Raichu. It's as simple as that. In this game, anything can pretty much Digivolve into anything. I mean, it's really, really flexible. Um, you're always up for a surprise with Digivolution in these games. Uh, we've got enough energy for another round. Of course, I'm not really selling it right now, am I? All I'm doing is training a little baby Digimon. But, you know, every game has its slow starts, and I think as starts go, this game is a bit quicker than most. I mean, how far into RuneScape was it until I actually did something that looked cool? Right, I need to actually... There we go. Yeah, how long does it take in your average game nowadays to do something meaningful? Ah, yes. Digivolve. Nice, we can do fights. But more importantly, I want to know what this Digimon is because I've never seen it outside of the cover for Digimon Dawn. I think it was Digimon Dawn. So it's a rookie. Let's see if we can find it. Yes, there is a Eve Echoes. Notification. Coronamon. Nice. A beast Digimon born from the fusion of sun watching data. It has an innocent personality due to its sense of justice being powerfully sincere. It uses its fire based powers as offensive and defensive weapons. Yeah, I like this Digimon. Ability. Flame body may burn the opponent on contact. That, yeah, that. That ability is straight out of Pokemon, let's be honest. But this is a good enough place as any to end the video. Um, let's hit save before, you know, we make any big mistakes. And thanks again for watching. If you guys want to see more mobile games played on a Pixel 2 with me talking over the top of them, feel free to, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment that you want it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.